We didn't prepare you for this? Hum I see. Short and sweet. I was a teaching assistant for a course in college. We asked a question in the midterm and had two students complain to the department that we hadn't suitably prepared them to answer the question. The department investigated and ruled that they should know the answer. The students appealed saying that the exact question had never been taught before and it is unfair to ask new questions in a test we were obviously confused but decided to try something out. We asked them to explain and were told that only questions from previous tests, exams, assignments, and sample questions in the textbook or course website should be asked. Ask them a follow-up. Please describe previous exams. We were told any exam that was conducted for the class prior to the exam in question and where the students were given the correct answer in an answer key after the exam. Okay. The appeal process takes a long time so no rush there. Time for the final. We ask the same question again. No changes. The exact same question. Both students got it wrong. Presented the final exam to the appeals committee who gave the students some sort of a penalty punishment for misusing the appeals process and trying to force us to increase their score when they should have studied instead. My belief for MC. They wanted us to acknowledge it was not covered. Which it was. So instead of arguing them on it we maliciously complied and asked the same question again using the previous test to meet their low standards for a question to be valid. TLDR. Student complains a question in a midterm was not covered in the syllabus. We clarify what qualifies it as covered and they say it being asked in a precious exam is proof it was covered. We ask the same question in the final exam. Student gets it wrong. I'm a university lecturer so I'm on this. A lot of students will blame their professor with their failures. What many evil students forget is that their teachers were once wily students themselves. They have been honing their cunning for decades, sharpened by each yearly intake of would-be rebels, at once charmed by their inventiveness and appalled by their arrogance. I hated students in class 1 was taking who were like this. I lost out on some valuable content I had been looking forward to because of their complaining. I'm glad I don't work with them real life now. No you can't ask questions that I should be able to answer if I have a functioning understanding of the course material. You can only ask verbatim questions that you've already given me the specific answer to so I can look at the study guide I disguised as a vitamin water label and glued to my water bottle. Your way is unfair I'm report y-o-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-u-
Even when I tried after the test but it still never crossed my mind to complain. We had a teacher that really didn't cover the questions in the exam. Because the exam was plagiarized from another course. I guess it was due to tenure but the teacher was promoted to department head next year. One of my teacher did something similar. First week the lesson. Second week. At the start. Test of last week lesson. Everyone got 0 twentieths. Third week. Test again of the first week. Still 0 twentieths for everyone. Fourth week we started to learn the lessons. SMH. College is supposed to inspire and incentivize critical thinking not rote memorization. My dad is a biology professor. He'll be retiring this year. One of his biggest pet peeves is that students complain almost every semester that his exams aren't multiple choice. They don't want to have to find the answer using the knowledge gained through the class. They want to have the answer already written so they can maybe make an educated guess about which one is correct. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.